my beautiful and amazing subscribers welcome back again to my youtube channel this is where you get all your legit and confirm gist to all my returning subscribers i love you all and if you're coming to my channel for the first time you're welcome can you subscribe before going guys the producer of the other life movie that took the life of junior pope and the rest of the crew members has finally paid her tributes to them in a post she made early hours of today, she said, My brother, Junior Pope, my makeup artist, Abigail, my hardworking Friday, Precious, and Olanti, my heart is shattered in pieces. As I write this, I am broken. I do not have any words. No words are enough to explain this pain. I find myself praying, how can we turn back? the hands of time my heart bleeds for your families who are in pain that cannot even be described may god who sees and knows everything in his infinite mercy give you peace and rest guys this is what adam alu posted on our instagram page today she also posted um, a short a short on um, post on our uh, instagram page where she said um god this is too much for me what am i living for did you bless me to embarrass me why me please lead me lord guys i think everyone should take it very easy on adam and luke let's not forget that these people were also our friends these were people that we are really close to her. They are they were our workers, and she didn't mean for any of this to happen. Watch this video to the end to see what Ida has to say about this. My condolences to every one of us practitioners of Nollywood. We have lost five of our colleagues, two sound engineers a makeup artist, an actor, and a production assistant. We have lost them to an avoidable death. Avoidable because all they needed to do to have given them fighting rights would have been to give them a life jacket. When you get in your car, it is a requirement by law that you wear your seatbelt. When you board an aircraft, by law and by practice, you wear your seatbelt. When you get on the boat, you wear your life jacket. Now you get to a jetty and the boat driver says there are no life jackets. You tell him thank you very much. As a producer who is expected to be prepared, you should have made arrangements for life jackets. Just in case the boat driver didn't have them, you will dress your own people up because by law and by practice, you wear your life jackets. For those of us who are from the River Rhine, some of us can swim, some of us understand the tide. And so we may be able to speculate but for a group of people who are not good swimmers, don't understand the tide, you put them in the boat without a life jacket and you have the man ferrying them as an excited young man who has his ears blocked with earpods, probably listening to some music. And then he's the one ferrying people. No preparedness for anything. No God, nothing. The artist is nothing to an inept producer. You put them. And even the people themselves, you have your rights as an actor. You need to know that you have rights. You should be able to say, I don't have a life jacket. I'm not going anywhere. I don't swim. Because you have right to a body double. If they don't like it, they can get someone else. You will not die. There's several other roles that you can play. Yes, 
money is hard, the economy is hard. But you see, life is priceless. Today we have a young girl who is her family's sole breadwinner gone. What will that family say or do? As a producer, it is a requirement that you do your job in a safe, secure, and free of intimidation environment. That's where you are expected to do your work. You need to be prepared or you don't start. You don't go to location without being prepared. You waste the time of people. And that's why we have all these kinds of unnecessary deaths. When people are not sick of high blood pressure, they're sick of diabetes and kidney, all lifestyle based. Question is, what is the lifestyle of the average Nigerian actor? And I'll tell you, work 18 hours, eat chaff instead of food. It's carbohydrate, carbohydrate that comes too late sometimes. People work and then they eat at 12 midnight just before bed. And what do you think all that blood sugar will do? When that jam or rice or gari breaks down, it becomes sugar. Abi. And then people start when it starts most times before you know all the money that they have worked up that period and saved up all of it goes back to doctors. And then when nobody can carry it anymore, we come to the public cap in hand. Emeka Rulas, where are you? This is the one time that we require you to put this up. The actor's welfare must be put on the table we can't have everybody use us third largest producers of film uh second highest employer of youth labor blah, and all for what everything we are the image makers so we can't allow this happen if we down tools everybody will down tools let's put the actor's welfare on the table we can't take one more unnecessary death this death was avoidable if the actor stood their ground and said no we're not budding until we have life jackets somebody will be alive today if the producer made arrangements and ensured that there were life jackets today the story will be different so nobody should talk to me about faith there is no faith you people think all that god did was just so you can die untimely and and in this manner look Actors' welfare on the table, please.